Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing video. I recently shopped um, the Beadaholic site after my bead um, diet was over, by the way. <laughs> I had a bead freeze. But after that, I went and they had 40% off. And then, so I bought a bunch of stuff. And then they said, now everything's 70% off. So I went back. So that one hasn't arrived yet. This one came yesterday. I thought I'd show you all of it in one video. So um, after I film this, I'll wait for the other one to come. And then... Um, I'll post but um, the reason why I even went there in the first place is because I really wanted a chasing hammer I didn't have one so I bought this chasing hammer because um, I wanted to do some fun stuff with my own um, making my own head pins so I might do some of that at the end of this video um, and I also bought this block to go with the chasing hammer so it's like a rubber block that'll hold this is super, super duper heavy. The block, the metal part of the block, ah, like that. This is, I mean, that's super heavy. <laughs> I like almost picked this up too, too hard because I thought it was gonna be heavy and it's not. And then we have an acrylic block or nylon, whatever this is. And I, I don't, I have to like read up on it. I don't really know the purpose of this port part but I know I'm gonna use this with the chasing hammer um, I got I mean and because these were on sale this is why I got these I wouldn't normally buy this many I bought three of these because these are my favorite glue and they were on sale for 40% off I feel like the price was a little high in the first place but it actually I looked that up it ended up after 40% off ended up being cheaper than everywhere else so I got three of those those are just gonna go in my glue drawer um, and then I bought a lot of Eslon thread, nylon thread. Um, so I, I'll just kind of show you all the colors that I got. Because it 40, even at 40% off, that was a really good deal. Because the colors by themselves at the bead store around here were the exact same price that they were charging regular price. So, and the most they ever go on sale is like 30 or 40% off. So I got a turquoise. I probably already have this, but come on, it's turquoise. <laughs> um, Pink. Isn't that the cutest little rosy pink? Like a sea foam. I actually think I might have this color too, but worth it because it's not like the stuff expires. <laughs> and then a really cool like fuchsia, magenta. This is really neat. Actually, it looks way better than I thought it would. And it almost, it doesn't have an AB on it, but it almost makes my eyes feel like there is an AB on it. I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> Got it blue. which I might have, but we know I love blue. Um, purple, I've got a couple purples, so th those look great together. Um, let's see, I got like a teal. Now I'm looking at this, got like weird plasticky stuff on it. Oh no, that's weird. This isn't supposed to have like a coating or anything on it. Like this stuff is just supposed to be the nylon. It's not supposed to be waxed or anything. Oh, I wonder what's going on there. If anybody's ever seen that before, let me know. I haven't I haven't seen that on Eslon before. That's a little annoying. I got this really hot pink, which I don't know if I have, but even if I do have it, it's like so awesome. And again, it's got that almost, almost AB on it. I don't know, I think the camera's going to pick it up, but my eyes feel like there's an AB, but there isn't. This color is called, oh, I think it was called bright coral. And then I've got like a regular coral color. I don't think they had like a lot of regular like greens as I pull out a green, but I, I wanted like, I wish I had like a neon and like an apple. This is more of like a sagey spring green. Maybe not sage, but like a spring green. And then I got some more, um, some other cord stuff. So I got four of these cause they were like 20 cents. This is satin, like rat tail cord. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's one millimeter. I have a bunch of this stuff in two millimeter, but I don't have any in one millimeter. So I had to get it. And it was a really nice like olive color. I want to play with some some more of that stuff because I haven't used it in years and I made a really cool macrame bracelet using satin cord a while back so maybe one day 
I got it in one millimeter in this neon rainbow. It's like one of my favorites for nylon cord, or I'm sorry, for satin cord. And I had it in two millimeter, but not one millimeter. So I got that. Um, I got some silk cord in just random sizes and colors. I was just like kind of grabbing some stuff. I tried to get the thicker stuff because uh, the thinner stuff I don't really use that much. So I got some really nice green and blue. Pink. And then I got this. Um, I haven't used this before. Wax Brazilian cord by uh, Beadsmith. And uh, this is pretty cool. It's, it's waxed. Um, and I love this like apple green. Um, oh, one more of these. And a bright yellow. I just love that yellow. And it looks like another purple, different purple than the others. This one's more vibrant. Like this one's more like grape, dark grape, and this one's like purple. And then I got a big bag of like bags, baggies. You see these during my sales. This really, I don't really know what they are. They're just like six by three millimeter connectors, tiny. So they're they're kind of like they're kind of like jump rings, but they're just a different shape. So they're like um oh boy, I don't know if I can untangle some of these. Well, a lot of them are connected to each other, but if we look at them, like they're jump ring with a thing in the middle. I don't, I don't know how to explain. Sorry, my hands are so dry. Um, yeah, they're just little connectors. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but we'll use them one day. Um, and I did get some beads. <laughs> I promise. I did get some beads. Uh, but not a lot because they were, honestly, they were sold out of a lot of stuff. So I got these. They're like the Stardust um, knot covers. Not knot covers. The crimp covers. And gun metal. Sorry, the ice cream truck is going by outside. Um, we got uh, just a small thing at E6000 because my big tubes, I tend to like gum up too quickly that I don't use most of the glue. So I'm just trying to test out one of the smaller tubes at E6000 to see if I want to change to that. I got a couple donut um, bales. So if you get a donut, like stone or ceramic or glass or whatever, and you want to hang it a little differently, you could put this in and it'll, it'll be a bale for your donut. I got some, what are these called? They were eight millimeter fire polish beads, but I can't remember the name, but they're silver with a little bit of an AB on them. Aren't those cool? They look futuristic. And then these are neat. They're um, four oh, round seed beads um, in like a orange with, they're like etched with copper almost. are so cool I want to do a bracelet with those there's some other beads I got that I really want to do a bracelet with um, and then these almost look like Christmas beads these are um, check glass seed beads they're so much fun just love all the colors I want to do a bracelet with those and I got one of these I think I put almost everything else back like all the charms that I got but I just thought I haven't seen this one in person so I went and got it. it's a little um, day of the dead little skeleton and he's got maracas and a hat <laughs> I love him and it's double sided or her and then um, I also got just a couple more things I got this beetle or scarab a silver plated scarab Again, a pendant with that. Um, some tinier um, check glass seed beads. The funny thing is, while I was checking out, things were like disappearing from my cart because people were buying them. So I had to end up checking out pretty quickly. So half gold, half orange stripe. I just, aren't those the coolest? They're so cool. I love them. 
those what size are these these are 80 and then um i got these are um i think i'm a tubo yeah 20 chalk um dark matte dark travertine but they have a, a picasso on them gosh I, it's not focusing because of everything in the background but i'm not gonna open them because they're not mm, maybe they could be oh yeah they're opening i thought they were saw, sealed shut but they're not and i want to do a bracelet with these so i got a lot of bracelets coming up but <laughs> aren't these nice Ugh, i had some yellow in this size and i was so sad that they sold out from under me um from my cart so but i'm glad i got these so anyway um, stay tuned. I'm going to include the rest of my order once it arrives. Here's the second part of my haul from Beta Hall Lake. And since I filmed that last one, they said that they are staying in business, which is awesome. So, um, I, uh, got some antique copper, um, clasps, really not something I totally needed, but I mean, you're, you're always good by buying clasps and because they were 70% off. Um, all of this is I got because it was 75 or 70% off. So these are end cutting pliers. I don't have anything that looks like this. Um, I can't imagine that they're that much different from um, the pliers that I have. I mean, just different shape. But now that I'm looking at them. Oh, okay. I thought it was deformed, but it's not. It's just, okay. Very cool. I wonder, I'm going to have to look into that to see if it's, there's a different use for these versus my flush cutters. And if you know, let me know. I got this cool mat. So another bead mat, but it's gray. And it has bead sizes at the top from 2 to 16 millimeter. And then it has centimeters and inches from um, up to 30 centimeters and 12 inches. So I thought that was pretty cool. I got this thread zap it um, tool because I do have some um, stuff. wildfire like this. And this is kind of hard to cut sometimes. So I bought that and you know, sometimes I think it's, it's cool to have another tool. And I've always wanted one of these, but I never could find it for 70% off before. I also got some flat nose pliers. Always good to have another pair of pliers around. I got more of these. I actually got these during their dollar sale one time. So just really fun, colorful skulls, adorable. I think those would look pretty cool, some African brass. What do you think? And then I got two of these, two sets of these, the copper plated wire bangles. So um, you, I think, yeah, you unscrew the finial here and slide your beads on or your charms and then you can screw the finial back on and if you like, you can absolutely glue it on, but I, I don't know if it would, I don't think it would unscrew on you. Just go like that and you have a nice little bracelet. So I got three of those, or two sets of three of those. Um, pyrite gemstone faceted beads. Very cool, I love these. Love them, it's like a 12 or 13 inch strand. Heavier than they look because they're pyrite and not hematite. Um, I got more cords. So this is a silk beading cord in number eight. Um, nice periwinkle color. Um, a thing of crimp beads. And it's funny because my friend Cindy just gave me a whole bunch of crimp beads the other day. I'm not going to run out of crimp beads anytime soon. But this was a fantastic deal for 70% off. Got eight millimeter fire polished beads and like an earth mix. Aren't those gorgeous? That would be a really pretty wrap bracelet. 
Maybe that's what I'll do with it. Find a really nice button clasp or toggle and just do a wrap bracelet. That's really pretty. I love those colors together. I don't know if I only got one of those. I might have gotten two, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, earring findings, circle earring hooks. So after I bought these is when I finally got the first order from them with my new chasing hammer and block. And I started making my own ear wires. That's why I kind of wanted these. I was just like, I really like that look and that's what inspired me to make my own. Some four millimeter silver fire polish beads. Love those. Some bright orange two millimeter leather. Love that. Um, some more eight millimeter fire polish check beads. Uh, these are amber. Gorgeous, I love that color. It's like a yellow topaz. My birthstone. I got this bangle, which I'm hoping I can, but oh yeah, it can bend because your girl's got some puffy wrists right now. <laughs> but I can either just wear it like this because it's really pretty or I could bead between them. Nice brass, it's really nice. Some cubes, it's a green, like Earth, Earth Tones Mayuki four millimeter square cube bead mix. Love those, those are great spacers. Some jump rings, silver plated open jump rings, four millimeter. Always need jump rings. Some nine millimeter teardrop check glass beads, uh, Peridot Green AB. So fun. They look like little green water droplets. I love them. They remind me of that movie Flubber. I think I say that every time I see this shape. <laughs> oh, this is, and this is just me not paying attention. So much more tiny than I thought it would be. Um, a 4.5 millimeter, I think, letter B. It's sterling silver, though. I think it's super cute. Great accent for a little bait bracelet that I'll be the only one who sees, but I just really like it. Keep that in the baggie though, so I don't lose it. Um, fire polish beads, seven by five millimeter teardrop orange and something. Isn't those fun? Fiery two tone colors. Some stardust bead covers or crimp bead covers in four millimeter. Love these. I got them last time with in that like gunmetal stardust those are great cute little um lotus button from by tiara cast they were really low on all tiara cast stuff when i went through the second time that would look good with this I got some, I don't really do smileys, but I know they're very, they've always just been very popular. Um, check glass, yellow, happy face, smiley beads, six millimeter. I thought these were kind of cute though. And I like the more like maximalist color, uh, necklaces that are coming out with a lot of like huge bright colors, huge bright beads, and they've got smileys and hearts and like the diamond shape and evil eyes. And I think that would be really cute if I decided to do something like that. Um, I think I did get two sets of these. They're check glass teardrops, 23 by 11 and a half millimeter, six pieces. They're that really nice, like, vitriol color. This one's a little damaged right there. They're a little dusty, which is surprising to me. But they're pretty. And actually, a br an idea for a... For a earring just came to me so maybe I'll make one um, during this video and then another 
bangle, just gold. You can beat around it, put leather around it. I could use it as a form for um, polymer clay. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to stretch, but you could, I don't know if you could stamp this. You could try, solid brass. Yeah, it's very pretty. Beautiful like emerald color, size six. And then like a nice camel color, size eight. And like I, I did get two of these, 22 karat gold plated beads. And I just thought they would really be really nice as a focal and some stretch bracelets. And um, I'd have to put it some larger beads on the other side so it wouldn't look too funky on my stretch bracelet, but I really love that pattern. I'm gonna put them both in the same one. And then I got some more crimp beads. These are tubes, one by one millimeter, 50 pieces. Got another color of uh, Eslon that I didn't get before. It's like a nice pomegranate. What did they call it? Oh, you can't see the color, but it looks like pomegranate to me. More um, clasps. Oh, a Swarovski button in pink, a pink heart. Another um, brass cuff. This one's a little bigger, 19 millimeter. So it's, it's taped closed. I'm not going to open it. It's just a little thicker than that one. And then last but not least, some more crimp beads. I really don't need ever to buy any more um, silver crimp beads unless I start a warehouse of making. So let me clear this up. I want to make some earrings um, using these teardrops. Okay, so I grabbed um, one of the check glass teardrops, um, two daisy spacers and antique copper, another antique copper spacer bead, um, and my 20 gauge pair of wire by um, Vintage in, art, uh, it says Artisan Copper. I'm just gonna cut a, two lengths and I need to smooth this out a little bit. So I'm gonna use my nylon jaw pliers. So I am going to cut a piece and I'm not really paying attention. Maybe it's like four inches and another piece again, probably three or four inches. Um, and the longer ish piece, I'm going to take my block that I got from Beetaholic and this is going to be the exact same technique I used in the Sam speed box video for my earrings there. Um, I'm just going to lightly hammer the end of this into a paddle shape. So I'm hitting and kind of dragging at the same time to get it to flare out. Um, watch your fingies when you're doing that. And we will scooch that down. And what I wanted on this one is exactly what I got and I only did it down towards the end. So I was really focusing on getting that paddle shape really at the end. Um, if it becomes a little too elongated and your bead stops like up here, you can cut it off, you can try again, or you can just cut it off and like little sand it a little bit. But I like how only a little bit's peeking out, we made our own head pin. I am just going to feed on my two spacers, two daisy spacers, and then my other spacer, and then I'm gonna wire wrap. Went too far, <laughs> went too far with that little loop. All right, and then I will go ahead and hold that and see where, there we go. And wrap as much as you like. I'm gonna get a few wraps on this one. So, all right. 
And then I, like I said, this one loop was a little wonky. I'm just going to kind of move it up a little bit, straighten it out. And we've got a really pretty piece there. And then I'm going to trim that in the back, and set it aside. And I'm going to take my second piece and take my um, mandrel, like my stepped mandrel pliers um, from the beadsmith and stick it right so the tip is flush with the two smallest mandrels and wrap it around the smallest of the two. Okay, So we've got ourselves a loop. And the reason why I'm using this is because these are um, tapered. So unless you have your um, mandrel marked where you want it to go around, uh, this one's going to be uniform each time. So then I am going to stick Actually, I'm going to set that aside and grab my plastic mandrel from Beetleon and count out five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to kind of, I'll twist this later into the right angle, but I'm going to wrap that around. You can choose whatever shape you want, but I'm going to go with circle because there are, I think four mandrels, there's an oval, circle, square, and triangle. So there we have that, but I want to kind of turn this a little bit. There we go. Just want it to be like that. And then that kind of flattened this a little bit. So I'm going to go over one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Let's reshape that a little bit and you can smooth that with your fingers warm it up a little bit there we go very nice and I'm gonna cut this right about there and then I'm gonna bring my um, block back in and my chasing hammer and I'm gonna tap this right at the arch to flatten it lightly. I'm not really walloping on it, I'm just lightly tapping. This is going to work harden it and um, make it a little bit stronger. It is flattening it. The more you tap, the more it's gonna flatten. I'm going to flip it over on the other side. And then I am going to take my bead reamer with the cut burr on the end and sand that edge. If you don't, um, and you can use sandpaper, you just want to make sure if you use sandpaper, you're going in one direction. If you don't sand it or if you sand it in both directions, you will end up with little microscopic pieces of metal in your ear and that's not going to be fun and it'll hurt and it will possibly cause an infection so please sand your ear wires if you're going to if you're going to make your own okay so then i'm going to find my bead going to open this up hang on my dangle and we've got ourselves a really cute quick and fun pair of earrings aren't those gorgeous those look like boutique earrings and what a difference, just a handcrafted head pin and handcrafted pair of ear wires makes, right? So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite thing was. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Somebody wants dinner and she's being super dramatic. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, I know. I'm not going to say the H word because I know you're H-U-N-G-R-Y. <laughs> Such a drama queen. Goldie, we love you. Yes, we do. We love you so much. Hi, baby.